This is the video for 23862 Wave Spray Circle in Laguna Niguel. Cul de sac. See the drainage here. All wood shingling almost around the entire house. Show you the side there. That's where the pool equipment is down at the end. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, These are three car garage. I wanted to show you some of the growth that's going on given the lack of uh, rain gutters on this side. It's a lot to show you in this video. This might go long, maybe a 10 minute video. I'm not sure. just wanted to show you this. This is a continuing theme all around the house despite the newer windows. Front porch. Very good landscaping. Very uh, very well kept home. A lot of love in this house. Good bones. Uh, so above the porch, you'll notice this duct. That is AC. It's improvised. That didn't come with the original house. The uh, roof obviously is beyond its useful life. There's been some leaks in the beams along the ceiling and the wood uh, shingles are showing their age as well. Coming into the backyard. The owner had talked about putting an ADU back here. I do think it has the space. AstroTurf down here. Here is your AC unit that's at the end of that improvised tract. Also your electric meter is here. Nice big AC unit. They say it's, it is adequate for what they expected it to do. Now we're coming into the uh, very well landscaped and uh, hardscaped backyard. The owner was very, very upfront about some of the issues in the home. Um, she says that while there is no cracking here, which I self-evident there's a little water waterfall feature that comes down here and some of the water has been getting into that um, the facade of these fake rocks and causing a resealing needed every few years causing some of these cracks in these uh you know uh stamped concrete hollow rocks this is the uh covered patio, the private balcony to the master there. This is where some of the troubles do, do become evident. You see that there. Water can get in there and affect that corner. That's probably the most apparent inside cosmetic damage that we're going to see. Here's your pool equipment here. Just want to show you all the uh, wood siding as well. Okay, now we're gonna go into the house, starting at the front door. Okay, so here we're coming into sort of a great room, sort of a, uh, we got dining over here on the left, living over here on the right. Dining. You can notice in the wood beams, there's, uh, everything's just self-evident. Showed you the aging roof above it. And uh, that's a continuing thing through there. So, that's just how it is. I'll show you this. We'll go straight into the kitchen after this. Got the agent and the owner here. Right, 
let's go here first and end up where they're at. Okay, in the living room. I called this the living room, but let's call this the living room and that one the family room. There's a sort of hidden wet bar here. Fireplace. Slider to the rear. Okay, I'm gonna save the kitchen for last on the ground floor here. Stepping in through here, we have a uh, bedroom, bathroom, laundry into the three car garage. Slider to the rear. This bathroom has been upgraded in probably the last 10, 15 years or so. Looks like a flip from like the 2000s. All right, laundry, pretty typical laundry room here. Big car garage, not much to see. Okay, now. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go. Again, we have the front door here, wet bar, dining room on the other side, into the kitchen. Excuse me, I had to adjust something here. There we go, okay. This island is movable. It's not on wheels, but it's not attached to the uh, floor. Again, everything's very well kept. Um, this is where the balcony ended and I was focusing on an issue here in the stucco. So here's something here. It's a hairline cracks, but there is other issues going on right above us here in the master. These uh, floors do come up slightly to the touch. There's not squishing or anything, but they were worried about a, uh, an old leak. So they had the pipe snaked the blue tape indicates the path of the pipe through here, continuing toward the street. So apparently there's some issue to be resolved here, even though it's not very evident. It's not squishing, it's not coming up, but it is a bit, I don't know if you can catch that. But So they drilled a hole in here to see if anything was uh, wet and there was not, they said so. Okay. Now we're going to do the upstairs, and uh, this is going to be my longest video ever. We're going upstairs. This is all bedrooms and bathrooms from this point on. I'll show you just the great room here. Yeah. Okay, master here, two bedrooms and one bathroom. So coming into the master, very good sized room, feels like 20 by 20, private fireplace, private balcony. I'll go right to the heart of the issue. Here. is where the previous time they, they marketed it or had it assessed, the guy was like giving it an astronomical figure and they didn't understand why. So I'm here to just document how it looks. So feel free to pause at any moment. There's nothing down here. There's some slight staining here of the carpet here's the again that's the big hole here's the direct outside of that and above that i noticed it's not quite sealed there so that could be water intrusion this is just your cracking from a not the best installation 
There's another vertical crack here. And there's something right about there inside as well. Meanwhile, here's your view. Ocean is directly that way through that pass. Dana Point this way. Okay. Again, the master's here. That crack is right along the edge of this railing. And at the edge of the railing is some hairline cracks that we have here. Further down is probably the biggest crack in the house, which is here. Continuing on there. So that's something to consider. Here's the view of the master bathroom. That's the gist of the cracking issues, although there is one more to show you. Here at the end of the hallway, a bedroom, bedroom, bath, and along that line, if you still see it, there you go, chimney line there, back wall, and then it leads to this, directly along that line, toward the front of the house, and then it just disappears, there's nothing from this point on. And this is a cosmetic drywall crack there. So it sort of stops at the attic entrance and goes all the way. All right, to document the rest of the house here, here's your guest bathroom. Guest bedroom, nothing much to see. Very good sized bedrooms. Feels like 12 by 14, both of them. Okay, so that's that. Um, I'll end the video here with a shot of the downstairs. And that'll complete it, thanks.